Hi, thanks for tuning into my channel. Today is the long awaited update on Redmond clay. So I have the clay here. I bought the big tub because it's cheaper per ounce. You can buy little bottles of it, dry it out, little, you know, little canisters. They also sell it pre moistened and it works really good. I'm told on burns, people with little kids have experienced, uh, kids burning themselves severely, putting this on, there's a special way you do it and you wrap it to keep it wet so it doesn't dry on the burn. Supposedly it, it's a miracle. And I believe them from everything I've seen, I believe them. Now I've only been taking this internally. I started last October 16th, 2012. I started drinking it in a little bottle like this. This is spring water. So you can use any water you want. I prefer spring water. So I just get a little bit like this and pour it in. Oh, I forgot to drink water off the top. This is too tall. It's too high, too much water. I was supposed to drink some off the top, but I usually put in two scoops, but I'm gonna have to shake this up. You gotta shake it up a lot because it becomes little lumps, you know. The outside is wet, the inside of the clay is dry, so it's a little lump. So anyways, I started drinking October 16th, and this is a tiny amount of water. I was urinating a lot more than this, and I noticed it was cleaning me out. And so I kept drinking it through the middle of December, and then I got sick with a sinus infection that I couldn't get rid of. And the air pollution in the wintertime because of the cold weather holds the pollution in the valley here where I live, and it's really bad. So I battled that from mid-December, late December, all of January into early February before I finally cured my sinus infection using natural remedies. That's another video on this channel that you can watch. It'll talk about how to clean the sinuses up. So I didn't drink the Redmond clay after that, but I noticed I was losing weight. I mentioned that in the previous video and that got people's attention and they were, that's why they were asking for the update about the weight loss. And I weighed myself on one scale, I think it was an industrial scale, and I thought I was down about, about 17 pounds just drinking this. But see, I'm a big guy, and so there's a lot of toxins that are stored in fat, a lot of uh, heavy metals, different pollution, pollutants that are stored in your body fat. So I think this was cleaning me out, and that's why I lost all that weight. So let me show you on my belt. Let me pull off my belt and show you how much weight I lost. Uh, if I can get it. I can't stand up without the belt on, I'll lose the pants. Because um, there's also another weight loss thing I'm doing now. Now this stopped in mid-December, mid right before I stopped doing this, um, I actually stopped losing the weight. So I think it was just detoxifying me to a certain point. Um, so I want to point out, I would stopped losing the weight with this. It went to a certain point, 10, 15 pounds, depending, because I weighed myself at the doctors when I had the sinus infection. And that's where it was only like 10 pounds, whereas the other scale, I thought it was like 17. So this worked to a certain point, and then I got sick, I stopped drinking it. Uh, but before I get into this, I'm, I started a couple weeks ago. Today is uh, February 24th, 2013. So I think uh, a week and a half ago, a Tuesday, a couple weeks ago, I started doing a raw vegan cleanse. And that can be another video. But the part of the cleanse for three days is doing distilled water. And I never do distilled water because natural water has minerals in it and the molecules want to bind to it. Distilled water goes in your body, has no, molecule, no minerals. It attaches to the minerals in your body, flushes them out. I've read that in many places. I know it's not right. So about day two of the, of the uh, distilled water cleanse, uh, which is with lemonade or lemon juice I did and maple syrup. It's kind of like the master cleanse, but not really, uh, which I've done the master cleanse for two, for 10 days in a row. It's the lemonade cleanse, master cleanse. That's another video. Um, I noticed I started getting leg cramps after about day two of the detox with the distilled water. On day three, I woke up with severe cramp down the side of my calf. And while I was laying in bed trying to work that out with my foot, all of a sudden it started going up the front of my thigh, like severe, and I knew that would be bad. I've gotten those for. I jumped up out of bed, drank this. I had to make it. I didn't have it um, made because I hadn't drank it since the middle of December. This was early February. I had to drink the whole bottle before the leg cramps went away, but they went away. I went back to sleep. Muscle cramps, awesome. 
So here's the belt, if you can see it. This is, I think, a size 60 belt, something up around that big. It's long worn off, but believe me, it's a big belt. So uh, I originally was here. I never used the first three, and I was at the fourth mark. But then a long time ago, I went down to this mark. You can, I don't know if you can see that. It's worn. It's warped on uh, that one. And then I started going down after I started drinking this in October. And look at these. You can see these are mangled. And I went down to about here. So what is that? Uh, probably one, two, three, four, five, at least five, five notches. Then after I started doing the vegan cleanse, I'm down to the last notch and I really need to do another notch. And I'm down 38 pounds. Because I was, um, before I weighed myself, oh, I know what I weighed myself for. I weighed myself for um, a DOT card, a DOT medical card at the doctor's. So I knew how much I weighed. I was 345, drinking this. I thought I went down to 327, but then I weighed myself another another doctor's office and it was 335. Well, doing this vegan cleanse along with, along with this originally, this was part of it. And then the cleanse is separate and down to 307. So I've done this once before in 2004, 2005, but it was different. I did, uh, I did raw organic foods, including animal products, milk, cheese, all grass fed, really strict, but I did nuts and seeds and all these other things. And that I lost 130 pounds then and got rid of, uh, basically diabetes, high blood pressure, all kinds of stuff, headaches, skin cleared up. I do all organic, um, toiletries, shampoos, all that stuff. I have videos on it. So this, I'm doing this one now with support and, and I'm paying for it, but I'm getting other things. It's not Weight Watchers, it's none of that, it's different. Uh, but it's raw produce only and fruit, no nuts, no seeds, no mushrooms. It's really strict for about 20 days. Then I can do some raw organic meats, but I'll keep updating up on that. But this did help me lose some weight. It cleaned, I think it cleansed my body of toxins, but it, it actually, they left. They actually left my body. I lost about 10 pounds, 17 pounds, somewhere in there. I wasn't really scientific weighing, but I know how much I weigh and I can, I know my weight by these notches because if I lose weight or gain weight, these move, otherwise they don't. So that's it for this video. Keep drinking this. It's a good detox I've learned. Um, and I've, I've, there's comments on the other video, the original muscle cramp one talking about people saying that. So I know it works for muscle cramps. I know it works for a little bit of weight loss. And I'm going to continue to drink it now that I'm all better. Thank you for watching and tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and like my page. Thanks again.